You heard of fire and ice. Well, here's a way to be able to have both of them at the same time, but not real ice. We're using dry ice, right, Higgins? With dry ice, we're going to create an amazing kind of fire using a metal called magnesium. These are magnesium filings. Watch what happens when we light this on fire. Magnesium burns very bright. Ah, look at that. Cool. We're going to use that same reaction, but we're going to do that reaction inside the block of dry ice. Now, when you want something to burn, you need three things. Fuel, like this magnesium, and oxygen, which is in the air all around us. That's what causes combustion, but there's no available oxygen inside the block of dry ice, only frozen carbon dioxide. What we're going to do is to use the carbon dioxide to supply us with oxygen. I know it sounds weird. Put your safety glasses on. All right. We drill a deep divot in the ice and add our magnesium. And Higgins, you can use that pipe over there to kind of push it down just a All little right. bit. Good. So now we'll use the torch to catch this on fire. As that burns at that extreme temperature, it's going to break apart CO2, carbon dioxide, and use the oxygen to help support the combustion. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, you're going to put this on top okay. when we get ready. Uh, will you guys turn off the lights? All right, here we go. Let me get it going here for a second. All right, put it on. There it is. Ah, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It just glows, and it's beautiful. The magnesium burns hot enough to break the carbon dioxide into oxygen and carbon. The oxygen gets used up from burning the magnesium, and look at what's left. When we start to take this whole thing apart, what we're left with inside is magnesium oxide. That's that white part there. And look at the black. That's carbon. A beautiful example of noisy combustion, flashy, exciting. Can't do it at home. It's one of those things that a chemistry teacher does. It's absolutely beautiful to be able to see how carbon dioxide supports combustion.